I'm Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we're Happy, Happy Healthy, Healthy Vegan. Vegan. So last year, Ben and Jerry's introduced four non-dairy flavors. I was right. super stoked. We made an you awesome so video, excited. eating them all, really happy. <laughs> but one thing I, I would have made me even happier is if they had introduced my favorite flavor, Cherry Garcia, which as you well know, is my favorite yes. ice cream flavor bar none. I go way, way back with Cherry Garcia. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we grew up with Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. You know, it came out in like 79 and you know, we were around through the whole thing. But yeah, I remember one time. Uh oh, you're telling them. I'm gonna tell him we were having <laughs> we were eating a pint of uh cherry garcia at his apartment and he said i could just die by cherry garcia and i was, was like what exaggerating a little bit my my like professing my love for cherry garcia's I flavor know, but it seemed like you were telling me like a deep truth about ryan love <laughs> but anyway people have been writing us our viewers yeah yeah so i started getting uh, notes from you guys saying hey there's like new flavors of Jerry Garcia and then we started seeing pictures on Instagram and this guy was so jelly. He was totally in <laughs> jelly school. Hardcore. Yes I was. <laughs> so I've been yeah calling all our local markets, calling the scoop shops yeah. and finally I got my hands on <laughs> <laughs> vegan non-dairy Cherry Garcia. I haven't opened it up yet. I've been patiently Shockingly, waiting. I can't believe how patient he's been. And my real <laughs> test is, you know, I remember the flavor of Cherry Garcia very well. So I want to see how well they nailed it because they nailed okay. Chunky Monkey. They kicked yeah. butt with that. So if they That's even true. got like 90% of that going on here with Cherry Garcia, I'll be stoked. Yeah. I think I'll be lucky to get a bite in at <laughs> all of that. So I have also got another flavor here. I don't know if this one had a dairy version of it, but it's called Caramel Almond Brittle, which sounds so good. You know, I love the caramel in that coffee ice cream yeah. they had last mm -hmm. year. So I'm pretty excited to try this. Almond Brittle sounds amazing. I love it when there's little chunks of candy in here. So I'm excited too. All right, let's have at it. All right. The moment you've waited for. All right, the unboxing. Ooh. And this is so much better. When we went to the scoop shop, it was frozen solid. Like we a could rock. barely get a bite out. So With now those it's little plastic spoons. We have plastic spoons <laughs> and frozen solid. So this will be a lot better. It's got that little gooey, melty thing going on on top. God, first of all, I see just like this huge thing of caramel right on top. Oh my gosh, it's coming out right, like first bites here. Volcano. Let's do our first bites. One, <gasps> two, three. Mmm, that caramel though. Oh my god, it tastes like cherry Garcia. Does it really? I think I smell it. I can smell the cherries. Mmm, get my little first bit of chocolate here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, some toffee. Mmm. Wait, is this a mukbang? I don't know. All I know is mm. we're reviewing this, and I need a few more bites to. Yeah, I agree. Get my thing together. Hmm. Okay, initial first impressions, guys. It tastes a lot like it. I don't know if it's identical. No. Let's get a second opinion. It's really, really close. Yeah, okay, I got a little chocolate chunk. I don't. Where's the cherry chunks? I haven't got a cherry chunk yet. That's always the fun part, is getting a cherry chunk. Because cherries, know, huh? as you guys may know, mm -hmm. my favorite fruit. Ooh, I got one of your cherries. I got cherry. Oh my god. Uh oh. They're bad. <laughs> oh, I see some. Ooh, okay, there's a nice cherry. I'll leave cherry. that cherry for you. Right, let me show the guys. There's a big cherry here. Oh my god. So, I think we can already guess pretty much all the stuff you guys are going to say. The first one's probably going to be how come I don't have that? Dairy free Ben and Jerry's in my area. Yeah, it's not in every country yet. Those four flavors from last year should be in most grocery stores in the United States. And these new ones, as you know, Cherry Garcia is slowly rolling out. I had to yeah. go to several grocery stores today before I finally got one. I even called ahead and they, I got some misinformation at some. Yeah, itself. well, so. all the way to one store who will not be mentioned. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it seemed like it was started rolling out on the East Coast. Didn't you notice yeah, at first that people in Philadelphia were getting it first? Yeah, slowly rolling out so West random. Coast. So, mm -hmm. be on the lookout, be persistent. Yeah. As far as other countries, I have no idea. Obviously, we're not friends with Ben and Jerry's. We bought this with our own money. Yes. <laughs> um, and then there's going to be, but you're a happy, healthy vegan. That ice cream's not healthy. Well, Why not? so as you can see here, the dairy-free version on the left has a few less calories than the milk version on the right. Okay. And more importantly, I think there's fewer calories from fat. Mm. 
in comparison. Also, yeah, it's just less fat in general um, and zero trans fat, absolutely none, and absolutely cool. zero cholesterol compared to 70 milligrams of cholesterol Whoa, in the dairy version. Oh, that's a huge difference. And strangely, half the sodium of the what? dairy version. Yeah. Okay, that is not something I would have ever guessed. Why would the dairy version have so much sodium? So, that being said, yeah. We would not go out and say that Ben and Jerry's dairy is free food. is a health food. No. You're going to lose weight. No. I mean, it's still got a lot of fat. It's got saturated fat, just one gram mm -hmm. less than the dairy version. So, you know, if you're watching your weight, if you're recovering from heart disease, I would not recommend eating this food ever. But if you're a reasonably healthy vegan, you know, you could probably eat this once in a while, as, as we do, and really not have anything bad happen to you. You know, we just did a video about almond milk the other day, and I seem to remember there was a pretty cool factoid from Dr. Greger. Yeah, like dairy's milk increases your risk of prostate cancer by 30% Ooh. while having um, almond milk, which Ben & Jerry's is made out of here, milk. decreases that by 30%. So what? it is safer and healthier for you in that sense. Yeah. And if you're wondering, yes, this non-dairy Ben & Jerry's is all certified vegan. Vegan. 100%. It's also non-GMO, which is great. Also so. certified fair trade and kosher. Sweet! Coconut oil. Okay, that's one of those ones where some people are like totally team coconut oil is the best thing in the world, and other people say never eat it. It's really not that good for you. It's a high in saturated fat. That's probably where most of the saturated fat from this comes from. That's again why we say not to eat a lot of this stuff. I mean, you know, don't yeah. eat it all that, all, all that often. Yeah. And don't, then don't the, make it your main meal of the day. The very last ingredient, which means it's the least present in there is carrageenan it's got yeah, a yeah we touched on that super briefly the other day yeah so you know i think it really deserves its own episode so yeah, that's I know. something it seems we really plan to do to do a, to sort out the mm -hmm. the facts about carrageenan yeah i've only done a little bit of research my immediate research made me feel a lot less concerned about carrageenan than you know some of those articles that, that have come out scare in the past. You. yeah mm. and in case you're wondering no there's no palm oil in this just lots of good cherries <laughs> Whew, i'm feeling Pretty satiated already. Yeah, me too. We have I maybe I, ate like a quarter of it. I ate about half a month. That sounds about <laughs> like you. <laughs> so I think we'll save it. Have some, have some tonight or something. So let's see. So overall, I'm trying to think. This one compared to the other caramel one that I was eating, the like coffee latte one or whatever. Yeah. I think I like that one a little bit better. Yeah. This one's cool, but I think I like that one a tiny it bit. It had better. more of the like caramel, like like fish food hat. I remember just like yeah, streams of car like caramel. That, huh? No, this one's got a lot of caramel, but I don't know. Um, I think I like the I think I like the coffee flavored ice cream part better than this like vanilla ice cream. And as like I said, as much as Chunky Monkey non dairy nailed it, I think a hundred percent. Mm -hmm. which is great. I still think this is only maybe 95% it, which is awesome, uh -oh. but I still like it better. This yeah. is better than okay. the Chunky Monkey. How about compared to that soy cherry ice cream? Oh, the one from Trader Joe's? Trader oh, Joe's? it's a hundred times okay. better than what I used to call soy Garcia at, <laughs> I know, at the Trader I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> so, would you eat it again? <laughs> yes, absolutely 100%. <laughs> the question is, when? How soon? You know, I don't oh. foresee eating this again for, say, like another month or two oh, or something really? like that. We'll yeah. see. I'll report back. You'll yeah, see on Instagram. It bust me on Instagram if I yeah, do. Please do. Totally. Keep me honest. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay. So long and short, we're not saying it's a health food. Again, you know, if you yeah. really want a health food, then freeze some bananas and blend them in the blender with some frozen cherries. Which and is great. Call it cherry garcia. We, we do if that. You really we want do that to. all the time, and it's great. But it's not going to taste like this. <laughs> but yeah, I think you know your friends and family that aren't vegan are probably yes. going to prefer this. That's who it's made for. Unfortunately, yeah. banana ice cream. So. So enjoy in moderation <laughs> and uh, let us know if you've found um, any of the three. There's one more new flavor that we didn't, you didn't buy. Yeah. It's like a coconut seven layer something or another. Um, so let us know if you've tried that flavor and what you thought. Um, which is your favorite of the three, which is your favorite of the whole seven non-dairy yeah. And ones. also, most importantly, let me know how close you think this Cherry Garcia got yeah. to the original. I'm about that 90 to 95 percent, but it's just different. Not to say it's any yeah. worse, it's just different. I just feel like the ice cream doesn't taste as cherry as I remember. It but still, it again, still tastes, I haven't had it so it long, still tastes quite say. cherry. It really does it? It still does. Yeah. I only had like two mm -hmm. bites, so I don't know. We'll see. So let us know down below your, your thoughts on all this. Hit yeah. like if you got something out of this. Let us know that you like us doing these vegan food product reviews. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> yeah. not the healthiest stuff in the world. Yeah. Oh, 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 one more thing. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. What? So last time we got some poop from people that were like, how could you support Ben and Jerry's? They still have dairy ice cream. 
Well, I mean, as you can see here, they went from like two ice creams to four ice creams to seven ice creams that are dairy free. So I feel like the more support that they get on the dairy free ice creams, the more likely they are to at some point maybe not even make dairy ice cream yeah, anymore. We just saw the headline how the CEO of Tyson, you know, the chicken food brand, says he thinks the future might be plant-based. So that's what we want Pretty Ben crazy. and Jerry's to see that same reality yeah. too. They won't have to buy milk anymore. Yeah, and we're about to check out a dairy from a dairy farm from New York that stopped making dairy milk and started making nut milk instead. So things can happen. Yeah. And we like to hold out hope. Sounds crazy, but it really has, it's been happening. Ben and Jerry's could go all vegan one day. Yeah, that's our hope. <laughs> so anyway, I guess that's about it. Yeah. Um, subscribe if you're new to our channel for more food reviews and just vegan information from me and Angie here at Happy mm -hmm. Healthy Vegan. And until next time, <gasps> keep, keep it carb, baby. Keep, keep it, it carb. carb. <laughs>